In the previous episode, we have seen that the circular economy can be looked at from a lot of different angles and that there are many challenges for many different disciplines. Today, we'll take yet another point of view, the point of view of industrial ecology. And for that, we take a step back from all the details. We are going to see what will happen if we implement all these small details on a large scale. What will happen at the world scale if we go towards a circular economy? Also, we'll see what does it mean for the future resource supply, not just at a detailed level, but for the whole world. And a third issue we will address this week is the environmental impact. In the first clip, we'll take a look at what exactly is the problem? What will the circular economy solve? We can get lost in all kinds of details of how it should be achieved. But what is actually uh, the difference when we have a circular economy? In the next clip, we will go into the urban mind. Those are the minds of the circular economy. And we'll explain what we mean by that in this second clip. And the last clip is dedicated to the time horizon. How long will it take before all those changes have been made? How long will it take before we actually reach a circular economy? I will be using metals as an example. Metals, of course, are, are very essential elements. They are used in many applications in society that we really cannot miss. And they are also ideal from the point of view of the circular economy because they, as elements, they do not degrade and they can be recycled, at least theoretically, um, and for uh, very many times. So, let's start then with the first lecture. <laughs> 